Hello, everybody. Welcome to Yoni Chats. We're going to be talking about open relationships today, um, different relationship structures. And last time we were on here, uh, Tumi and Dory, and they're in a different kind of relationship. So they're in a dom-sub relationship. Um, so we're just going to keep talking about different relationship structures. A lot of people don't even want to date. They don't even want to date because they're like, how do you do it? Like, I don't want to do what I was doing before. Uh, what else is there? So it's good to just have these talks. We can open up our minds like, yes, there's more than one way and you might find a way that works better for you than you've been doing in the past. Um, thank you, Tiana, for coming on here today and sharing yourself. This is one of my best friends and she's very, very wise and I really respect her. So that's why we're talking. And so I've been waiting for her to come on the chat for the last time. I'm glad for you. My trickery has worked. <laughs> <laughs> So introduce yourself, Tiana. Um, my name is Tiana. I am uh, from Philadelphia originally. I've been living in Southern California for more than a decade now. I'm an entrepreneur, creative of sorts. I'm here because uh, you want to talk about open relationships. So my relationship uh, that I'm in right now, I have a girlfriend named Joy. We've been together for 11 years. 11. Yeah, 11 years. Um, I proposed to her like a few years ago when it became legal for uh, gay marriage. Uh, but we're not really in a rush to get married. Let me ask you, how have you been keeping it spicy for 11 years? Because I know it's spicy. Like, I I can feel energy and they're spicy. It is not, the fire has not died down, I promise you. So how have you been doing it? I mean, I can't really say, like, one thing. I just think that we're, like, we're, we're mindful of each other. We're constantly, like, you were thinking about each other all day so it's like yeah. when you're with somebody and you really do care about them and then like you're you know daily like being mindful of them and the way that you're treating them it just makes you like you're in tune with them huh? yeah, yeah so it's like cultivating the love like at all times so and of course that leads into like sex and like wanting to you know be intimate so i think that just it's been a discovery for us both mm -hmm. like um we met really young and uh, we met both working in a church. So when we got together, like we were very inexperienced sexually or relationship wise, yeah. we were both realizing that we were um, like gay and like so many things. Yeah. So it was just kind of like, okay, like you're, you're on this path with me. Let's, <laughs> let's figure this yeah. out. Let's figure ourselves out. So you accepted your ignorance too, together. Yeah. 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 At that point, when you realize there's so much more to discover, you're like, I don't know nothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yeah. One of the ways that you keep it keep it spicy, also, is it's still a discovery. Like you're still discovering things about each other's bodies, mm -hmm. about just how each other works. Keep the curiosity growing, because curiosity is like the biggest thing. Like how you make it not boring over like you know the span of time. I don't know. It's just like every, like. I don't know, Joy, okay, you know, I'm into astrology, and so I'm an Aries, and Joy is a Gemini, and I just think we are the perfect match, because yeah. I need to that be air, mentally stimulated yes. at all times, and fire. I love the way, like, people be like, Gemini's are crazy, but, like, for an Aries, that's, like, what we you love. love that like, shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, change it up, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So, like, I think that really plays into our dynamic, that we are both, like, generally, like, the dynamic that mm -hmm. way it's like, like literally your energy the dynamic of the elements they work perfectly for you guys yeah it's like we're yeah. predisposed to like be in each other's energy exactly yeah, yeah. that's why i see you guys too like i look at you as like this like flame and it's like pretty cute yeah. <laughs> on the brown it just works perfectly <laughs> right i mean air and fire i mean fire doesn't exist or thrive without air so. exactly exactly that you don't have a typical like close relationship like your relationship is actually a lot more open still exploring so tell us about how you guys are keeping your relationship open to um growth and exploring more we both came from like a real place of inexperience so we both kind of like from the beginning set the intention of knowing that like we're going to grow and change together like yeah. this like both of us just kind of thinking to ourselves how likely is it that we are going to be the only people that we have sex with for the rest of our lives or how likely is it that we're going to be happy with that down yeah, the road yeah or like regret that you know we didn't do other things so like we were just like okay like we set the standard at the beginning that nothing is above a conversation mm -hmm. so in that way our relationship is open because like anything 
we are open to the conversation of anything. Yeah. If you have an idea or you see someone you're interested in or you feel like you want to go explore this, we can talk about it. We can figure out how that works for how I feel about it, how you feel about it. Yeah. Do we want to make, like, how do we want to make this work? Do we want to, like, how are we going to proceed? So having that openness where you can communicate, yeah. it, it makes it so easy to just go through life and like not feel bound by the natural feelings you're gonna feel going mm -hmm. through life. Yeah, So it's a lot more freedom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like, why do you have a partner? Like you have a partner to be real with and under, like, mm -hmm. and feel the like, you know, the challenges and stuff. So yeah. like a lot of times in like traditional relationships, you avoid certain things so you don't have to go to the hard place. Mm -hmm. It's like if you have a partner that you can like depend on and really talk about stuff with and like come to some other understanding like who else than the person that you trust in so many exactly. deep ways and that's the comfortability that's the the connection that we aim to have right but a lot of times like we don't we, it's not there and we really not are in the place where we're with somebody that we're comfortable with and that we can grow with and you just end up holding shit in mm -hmm. and saying no to yourself right. and you know not doing shit for years and just bust out and do it the wrong way yeah, you can only hold in so much so <laughs> just hold in so much yeah. so that's yeah um so you guys have are you dating um have you dated outside of your relationship have you know side relationships or ones together yeah we've had um a few very experiences where um i've dated um she's dated someone um we've dated someone together um I've dated someone with the possibility of possibly integrating them into our relationship. Um, so we've like done different like things. Tried every different, all different angles. Huh? Yeah, yeah, like it's just been like people that come into our life and spark that conversation, yeah. and uh, we go from there. So there's all different ways. Like I think when people think about open relationships or then you want to talk about polyamorous, you have to do what's, what resonates for you. Mm -hmm. Like it does. It's not for everyone. But also, like, it's a mindful way to be in a relationship. When you think about the culture of traditional relationships, there's, you know, you have a boyfriend and girlfriend, you like each other, you feel, you know, the physical and the emotional, but the spiritual part of the relationship is not there. It's marriage, it's like, you know, the, yeah. the you outer. Yeah, start following the path. Right. Yeah. So it's like, this is like, let's, if you want to talk about monogamy, I mean, monogamy is monogamous until someone's cheating. And then there's no honesty there. So yeah. it's like, you have to have the intention of like going in like with some sort of grounding, like some sort of conversation, yeah. some like, you know, sort of like you were saying, um, I spoke the last uh, live you did with um, your friends that are in the Dom and Sub relationship. Yeah. And like, that's the relationship that they agreed to. Like, so if you look at like in typical traditional relationships, if you look at like, just like husband, wife, it's really like, you know, the husband's supposed to be dominant and the mm -hmm. woman's supposed to be submissive, yeah. but people go into that with the idea that it goes that it's supposed to be that way, but no one agreed to all those exactly. roles. Like women are saying, no, I don't want to do this one and that one. And, but you're supposed to do that yeah, as a woman. Yeah. But if you're not connected to that yeah. and you don't agree to that, just like some women in like husband and wife relationships, like that's why there's some women that just love to like be home and do like mm -hmm. everyone has a different. You have something that works for you, right. but it has to be true that it works for you. Right. Yeah. You have to be free to communicate that to your partner that this is the kind of relationship that I want to be in, and you have to be willing to work together and you know combine that. Yeah, and that gives like a lot of freedom to to explore different relationships and not even have to label it, right? Like I feel like the open re relationship is. Um, also like an umbrella term like it just means you can actually like continue to grow and live your life without the usual hinges right of being in a committed relationship but you get the support of it you get the support and you get the love and you also get to live your life it's not I get to I have to sacrifice the love and support yeah for exploration and for living my life because that's the deal that's that's how we do it here right, right. Um, but that's what we're doing we're changing up how we want to make our deals right make your own deal mm -hmm. with the person that you love that you're with um, and find something that mutually works for you. I always love like talking to you guys about how you work in your relationship also because you're very honest about it. Like it's not always, because you talk about it doesn't mean it's gonna be a good conversation, like an easy conversation, <laughs> yeah. like we can talk about it.